What's up there YouTube and welcome back to the MBK Vapor Reviews channel. Today we are looking at the Vupu Smart PNP Coil. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at everything that comes in with this packaging. We're going to build it and then we're going to use it. So what we've got to do first, we've got to roll the intro and uh, yeah, let's get on to it. So we're down at the table then boys and girls with the Smart Coil by Watofo Smart PNP. So this is what you get in the box. So you can pause that and have a look at that. I like how they've got the PNP like symbols be like, looking like it's behind it. But then in front of it, oh, I think that's a quite good ho holographic look. So like I said, that's all what you get in there. I haven't got everything in here because this, this is a borrowed item off a friend. Um, cares from work and yeah he's gone enough to lend me this to show you guys so you do have a lot like your baggies and stuff like that you you should have three baggies one with your cotton one with your your mesh strips and one with all your bits and pieces and that in there so you got your mesh strips there's three different types you get a chill a turbo and extreme um, yeah so there's one of the mesh strips. Let's see if we can get that a bit closer for you. There you go. You got a bit more open one. Right. If I can get it out. A bit more of an open one. There you go. And then you get that one so if I believe I'm right that's chill that's turbo and that's extreme so they'll come in different arm ratings but I don't know the arm ratings as such if I can find out I'll pull them like here or something so you can find out uh, so the one I'm going to use today because there is two of those ones we're going to use the turbo which is that one I'm going to put these ones back. You also get your cotton strips. These are perfectly cut out just uh, to be put into the PMP pod. So we're going to be using them just there. Put them back in the box. Then in here, obviously, you get your housing to put your PMP stuff into. There we go. You get a bunch of loads of spares as well. That's your coil rod. Smart coil. That's where you put that. We'll sort that out in just a second now. You get your positive pins and your oscillating bungs. And obviously some more spare green O-rings to go around that. So we'll put them back in there. Put that one back in there. That in there so we'll keep them safe. So yeah, so I'll show you the size comparison to a Vupu PMP because, like I said, these are compatible with Vupu. Obviously, the Manic, um, we're talking about Manic uh, pod system. I believe they are compatible with the GTX coils, so like the P PX80, the PM80. All them ones that use the GTX coils by uh, Vaporesso. So, just the housing. As you can see, they're exactly the same size. So, you know they're going to fit. So, I'm going to show you the PMP. The already built one. And when we finish this, I'm going to do a comparison next to it. Okay? So, what we want to do first... So if I can get no, that's probably. It. So what what I've been doing is we put the mesh strip like so. Let's put that bit more in the middle. Put the mesh strip in the middle of the cotton, just like that. Then what I normally do is get 
Let's turn that on its side. Put that in the middle like that. Then I'll grab the two ends of the cotton, pull it up, and squeeze that just like that. Okay. Now this would be easier if I actually listen to myself, but always have this undone. It just makes it a hell of a lot easier. So what you want to do now, if I can focus it in, there we go. So you've got this little cutout just here. That's where your cotton's going to go, this excess cotton here. So what we want to do, just put them legs through there. And what I'll do, I'll put it on the table. And then pull it really tight. And then I'll try and work it over it. It is a bit of a struggle at first, but once you get it on, you're in. And you can let go of the cotton and start working it in a little bit more. So you're looking like that at the minute. Right, let's show you a little bit closer. Yeah. So what I tend to do now is the leg that's closest to this little gap is going to, that leg is, so that one's closest, so I'm going to bend that into there. Then you get your little black bung. I'll go over that like that. And because I've got quite thick fingers, I'll use my tweezers. Well, I can't find now. There we go. And I'll just press that in like so. That's nice and in. And what I tend to do, I'll just move that over just a little bit so I can put that in there like so. And that's it. That's it built basically. So you, you end up looking like this. And then all you need to get is your snips. And all you want to do is snip that as close as you can and bin it. And then snip that as close as you can and bin it. And then you've got just your cotton. You can use your scissors, but I've actually been using my snips because I'll get a closer. Just like that. And then we'll just work this guy out just like so. And then you're left with that. And all you gotta do is screw on your housing. Just like that. And when you look at it side by side with another PMP coil, you can't tell. It's that simple to make one of these coils, guys. I'm absolutely really impressed how, how quick, how easy it is. And one thing, like, this is a, the Vupu VM5, and you can see how much of the cotton you can't see and I hate it absolutely hate it but with these you can actually s can, uh, I mean? see the gap between it you can actually see the gap so you'll be able to run your thicker juices in that because you can actually see the gap in between the metal casing I love it I think that's brilliant but yeah guys that is that that is how easy and simple it is to build the Rotofo PMP. If I can do it, anyone can do it. That is so simple, it's so easy. And you can pick these up from anything from, I think, £6 to £7, maybe £8. I think £8 is probably your dearest to pick one of these up. But yeah, you can pick these up as cheap as chips. And the cotton and stuff like that is £6 with the... With the uh, strips of mesh and you get 10 strips of cotton, 10 strips of mesh. It works out to like 60 or 70p per coil. I'll let you 
work out that like if that's cheap enough for you but yeah so we're going to head up top i'm going to pop this into a pod and we're going to give it a vape guys so we're back up top then guys with the smart coil pmp smart coil by with tofo so we've got it put into the uh vupu pmp tank that's the only thing i've got that it, this will fit um, but like I said, you can fit all, all the GTX base platform like the PX80, the PM80, all the Vapor SO ones that take the GTX coils and obviously the Manic which this actually came with their PMP coils and obviously all the Vupu um, pods like the Drag X, Drag S, anything with that sort of pod on top. So we've got it in this, I've got it sitting at 50 watts at 0 0.18, let's give it a vape. I'll tell you what, the flavour on this is absolutely fantastic. Um, you would think it's a, just a normal PMP from any of these manufacturers, to be honest. Um, and I showed you the side by side comparison of the two, of the the Vupu uh, one and this one. They're very 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 much identical. Um, as soon as you you've put everything in there, it looks like a stock coil. Well, well a straight out of a package coil. It doesn't look like you just built it. It just looks like it. And like I said, down below, let's have another vape. I've got some. Uh, Oblo Classic Lemon Meringue, something that I'll mix myself at 20% uh, at, at 70 30 going through this as well. Man, I love this fiber. So, the prices for these are something, anywhere between £6 to £8. You can find these quite reasonably cheap. And you get six pieces of mesh and six pieces of cotton. All your O-rings that you need as well, and basically you got six six pieces of well, you've got six coils. You've got that. Um, you can find the mesh and the cotton strips on their own for I think they're around six or seven pound, and that work. And there's ten strips of cotton strength, ten strips of mesh. So that's basically ten coils. There's no way of actually reusing the mesh, but you can if you so wish. Um, there is a way, but it's going to be a bit difficult when you uh, are trying to put the bungs back in and making sure them legs are separate. Um, but burning it off, the only way I could actually think about doing it, I haven't done it myself, is even using a little bit of a blowtorch and to glow it back out again. Or go old school and do it over your cooker. That's the only two ways you can put most probably do do like reuse the mesh on this because um, you can't dry burn it on you on your mod you can't it's that's it's just sim simple because you're just going to short it out have i got any cons for this the only con i'm going to have is going to put stock coils out because if because how easy this is to rebuild, it's and it's cheap as chips. What's the point in having the stock coil unless you really don't want to build? It's a good introductionary of building your own coils because it's that simple. And if you like tinkering with stuff, it's a good tinkerer. Oh. I'm really enjoying the flavour off that as well. The flavour is quite good. It's wicking really well. Even though that cotton does look a little bit thick and I feel like I should take off like a, a strip or two. Don't. Don't. It, it, it chucks out flavour. It really does. So. That's it then guys. I can't put any links in the description because it's YouTube policy. To anywhere that sells this but i can put a link to my website i don't sell anything on there but i can put links on my website where this can be found so links will be down in the description um well link to my website will be down in the description at least anyway um 
other than that guys that is it for me today thank you very much to my friend kez for lending me that for the purposes of this review um or show and tell depends on how you want to pull it um but thank you very much anyway kez it, it, i really do appreciate it mate um it's helping me out just a bit to start over doing this again um yeah don't forget all social media links are down there in the description as well go and follow me on all the social media platforms and yeah don't and if you're new here or if you're not new here don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't already guys thank you very much for watching i will catch you on the next video i'll see you later Ta ra a bit <laughs>